What's up? This is Naked Eli, the Mostly Unclothed Gamer, <laughs> here with Tipsy's Giggles, uh, as well as some other friends. We wanted to do a grenade tips video for you guys in honor of my brother's birthday. Uh, I was asking him what he wanted me to do a video in honor of him for, and he said a grenade tips videos, please. So uh, that's what we're making. So we have tons of grenades, and my friends and I will show you a few tests. I have some things written down we want to go through and analyze the hell out of these nades. So brief introduction for everybody. We have Tipsy with the giggles. Hi. Hi. We, we have uh, Mr. Ghostly. Oh, hola, senorita. Oh, senor. Oh, so suave. Mr. Robo Vaquero. That might be Swabber. I don't even know. And Spartan G223. Hello. Hi. Cool. So, let's get on to the first test. Uh, first thing I wanted to say was that you see I have three grenades of each type in the top left corner. That you can get with the grenade perk, which essentially starts you off in uh, a game with three frags or three plasmas or two pulse grenades. Uh, but you can get max three on each. So, that's just a little FYI, since this is a grenade tips video. If you want more grenades, you start with Grenadier. Uh, which is useful with the explosives tactical package. So the first test we're going to do is off this wall. Uh, Ghostly is going to throw some nades in order and will demonstrate how each one bounces differently uh, off of platforms. Just to start real briefly, I'll bounce them off the ground so you can see right now how the frag bounces the most. And I'll do that on this. You can see even more that uh, it will bounce way more when it's not on grass. Whereas the plasma will barely go anywhere and the pulse grenade basically just moves directly upward from where it hits. Alright, so Ghost, please uh, knock the wall and, and we'll show... Yep, ready? That's where the frag lands, that's where the plasma grenade lands, and that's where the pulse lands. So, for example, if you're running away from somebody uh, and they're right behind you, you can use a pulse or a plasma uh, or a frag at a proper angle, but not at the same angle as the other two. So that's just some fine-tuning for your grenades. All right, next we're going to show you the uh, effect of pulse grenades. So can you guys line up? We'll have the uh, ex people with explosives to my left and the people without explosives to the right. You guys know who you are, yes? Yes, perfect. Okay, so if I hit... You guys have no explosives, right? So if I hit Tipsy with this pulse, uh, it takes off like 7 eighths of her health and then the rest is drained out slowly and then she dies. And with someone who has... <laughs> yes, and then uh, her body disintegrates like rose petals. Robo, as you could tell, kept his shields the entire time because he had the explosives mod, but that final explosion actually destroyed him handily. Now, Ghostly, I want you to uh, run into this after I throw it. Run into it. And just stay there. Oh, you were supposed to... I thought you were going to die, but I guess not. And then I'll do the same thing for you, Spartan. Just run into it, and then hang out. And you survive with shield. So that's just a quick example of how the explosives mod, I think, reduces like 20% damage um, from grenades. So the pulse grenade, all you need to know is that uh, the most of the damage comes from the impact as you throw it down and as it explodes. The rest of the damage, while it's still up, is almost negligible. See, I can run through it like this. It does almost nothing. I can run through it like this. Does almost nothing, but as soon as I stay in it for the explosion, oh, which I'm not gonna do, I would I would die. Um, <laughs> so that's how you get through the pulse grenades. You think it's funny, Tipsy? This is serious stuff. <laughs> All right, now let's go through. Let's go through the uh, the frags and the pl plasmas. So Spartan, you have explosives. I'm gonna put a frag under your feet and see the effects. How much shield you got? What's your shield percentage, Spartan? Muted. You're muted. Why are you muted, Spartan? Sorry, about 10%. <laughs> <laughs> you had about 10% left after that? Yeah. Alright, and then uh, you two lovebirds, I'm going to throw a frag under you. And they're going to lose their shield from a, a frag under their feet. Now I'm going to throw a plasma under your feet, but not stick you. And he's going to actually survive that with the explosives mod, whereas these guys are going to get destroyed. <laughs> so, just an example <laughs> of the power of the explosives. I believe it's a support package, right guys? Not a tactical package. Support upgrade, rather. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, maybe. Um, maybe? Possibly? Explosives is... I think it is. Upgrade. 
the last one, the very bottom one. Cool. So, so essentially you need uh, two frags to kill. You only need one plasma to kill someone without explosives. And you need one pulse to kill someone without explosives. Uh, moving on, let's go over some armor abilities and how they influence it. So, you guys all have, uh, some of you have thruster pack, yeah? Perfect. Alright, let's line up on the left over here. Get all this little blood and explosives out of the shot. And it's a beautiful day in the background on this new Forge Island map, which we haven't even mentioned. But this is free, and you should download it if you don't have it already. It's just three flat islands, and it's uh, got a lot of cool Forge pieces. Alright, so now I'm going to test out throwing grenades under their feet and see if they can completely avoid the damage with the thruster pack. So, Tipsy, let's start right here, please. Or, yeah, Ghost, just back away. All right, so as I throw the grenade at you, dodge it, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, I can't dodge, no, that's fine. It's uh, equidistant in all directions. How much damage did you take? Uh, 25%. 25% without the explosives perk. And, uh, yeah. all right, Aiden, you have thruster, right? Yep. All right, so can you go, yeah, please? And I'm gonna do the same thing to you, all right? All right. You thrustered a little bit later. How much uh, health do you have left? Um, I've probably got about 30%, 35. So the timing's really important on this. He has explosives. He was like half a second late and it completely destroyed his shield. So I'll just count it down for you. One, two, three. No, you're... My, the point is you're supposed to avoid as soon as you see me throw the grenade. Like in a real battle, you're not going to wait for the grenade, come under your feet, and be like, oh, I should thrust her away now, right? So we're like battling, da 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 da, I throw this at you. And how much damage do you take? Okay. Uh, I took less than 50. Okay, well, you should be taking less damage um, than Tipsy, but I guess she's a better thruster than you are. So we're just going to leave it at <laughs> Oh yeah, Tipsy calls us the dancing perk, by the way. So. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the hard light shield. Um, you guys have the hard light shield? Yeah, Robo's got his hard light shield. Whoa, how'd you do that? Oh. <laughs> I have not seen that before. Looks like these guys are going to kill themselves so they can get hard light. In the meantime, Robo, do you have explosives or no explosives? I got <laughs> Oh, you go way deep underwater. do have right. explosives. Okay, so uh, put the hard light shield up, please. And let's see how much damage this does. Does a little bit of damage if it comes to your side. What's your shield uh, at? A lot. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, if it's like literally just right here diagonally across from you. Alright, let's try this again. If it's if it's basically directly in front of the hard light shield, you should take no damage, right? That took no that did nothing. And if you do plasma, no damage. And this is the most interesting. If you do pulse, even if he's in the pulse grenade, he takes no damage, right? So that's kind of crazy. And it should be identical if you don't have the explosives perk. This is Ghostly, who does not have explosives. And I'm just going to throw all the grenades at him, and he's going to be just all right. But as soon as soon as it goes like diagonally away and the hard light shield is is clearly not safe like in front of you it, you're gonna take just normal grenade damage um, so it's like an all or nothing effect and I did not know you could put this up and make an umbrella either <laughs> really what how how do this is a mystery we'll save for another day so if I were going to do techno dancing in Halo, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Alright, next, uh, who got the auto sentries? Going to show some I things with that. If you could all briefly commit those. suicide and give me an auto sentry, that would be wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you oh god. I'm going to restock <laughs> on my nades. And uh, while we're doing this, I'll just show that if you are running and you throw a grenade under you, you leave a grenade in your trail, so if someone's chasing you, that's a good way to get them off. Sticky is the same thing, but you gotta be careful, because you can stick yourself. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, come here. <laughs> and pulse, oh, yeah. I think, is a, is also a terrible idea, because you're gonna hit yourself. And see, that's about the 7-8 that I was talking about earlier, that 
the uh, the pulse takes off when it lands on you. So you basically want to hit someone with it directly, and then two headshots will kill them. Uh, all right, so you guys got your what should we call it? Auto sentry. All right, so if I hit it with a plasma, it sticks. And it dies, and if I hit it with... Ow, I'm gonna die. If I hit it with one of those, then uh, the pulse will go off directly above it, and that will kill it. And then if you wanna put another one up, if you land a grenade directly under it, any kind of grenade, it'll blow up the auto sentry. So those are just some tips if you happen to engage the auto sentry in matchmaking. Uh, next, moving on to regeneration field. You guys, ow, ow. Ow, yours is shooting hers, and now yours is shooting mine. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, can we get uh, regeneration field support for board? Yeah. Uh, smack me, smack me. Oh. <laughs> do that too. So, uh, very briefly, just want to show that when you're in a regeneration field, uh, you can't expect to survive a ton of grenades. Like, two grenades in sequence will still kill you. Uh, there's just not enough time for the regen. But if I throw one, and then it gives you a little bit of time, and you're regenerating, and then I throw another, you might survive that second one. Uh, so just be careful when dodging the nades. Don't expect that you can tank it. It obviously doesn't give you a buff, so that'll still kill you. And if the pulse is in Robo, right, the pulse still damages you. You don't regen while you're in the pulse grenade. Dude, I got a damage boost. So, damage boost this is perfect timing. One frag of any type will kill anybody, whether they have explosives on or not. So... Oh, I didn't hit you with that, did I? Ooh. Wait, does Pulse not kill you? I thought it- maybe? It looks like you take more damage the closer you are to the Pulse Grenade. Which is something that I- Use it. Thought Use that we saw in testing. <laughs> Wait, um, we can. I didn't die. Hold on, we can test this by having different people line up. So, can someone go next to Tipsy and, uh. I'll just put one. Alright, guys, get really, really close. Like, you wanna make love to her. Oh, you got no oh, idea. Perfect. I'm <laughs> now, I'm gonna put this here, and Ghost, you should take more damage. He does. Oh, and he does. <laughs> test confirmed. <laughs> They died in love. We died together. That's awesome. Okay, uh, now I need to get some Prometheus vision. By the way, we have all these vehicles here. What? <laughs> um, we have all these vehicles because we were going to, we were gonna do some testing with them, but tests were inconclusive as to the effects of explosives and wheelman and it pretty much took three plasma grenades to kill all the big vehicles and two to kill the smaller vehicles so uh yeah didn't really find anything interesting to share so we're just gonna leave them there as pretty background um shh, jesus while i was talking i was supposed to get pv there we go okay let's get Promethean vision now can you guys just throw a ton of grenades uh near me but not on me Alright, here. Alright, throw them. So, you see the frags turn red in Promethean Vision. The plasmas get a reddish tint, and the pulse grenades are already red. So, ow, ow, ow! Stop! No! <laughs> um, actually, can we throw some plasmas down? I want to compare with and without Promethean Vision. Alright. Just everyone throw a ton of plasmas, like right here. I got it. Alright, so they're like, ow. Okay, your plasmas are destroying each other's faces. Um, but yeah, you can see that they're like very, very blue, and then they turn kind of red to this. Basically, red is bad. Red is damage. That's that's what your vision tells you. So that just looks kind of interesting. PV does point out since red to the human eye sticks out, you'll be able to see grenades really well when you're in PV. Um, a little fun fact about uh, plasma grenades is that in different Halo games, like Halo 2, for example, you could throw a plasma and then knock a plasma off of it, and it'll bounce and then explode when it lands. Uh, in Halo Reach, uh, I think it was random, and it's random in Halo 4 as well, as to whether it's going to just make the grenade next to it do that, like a combo explode, or whether it's going to just completely ignore it and, like, bounce and or not do anything. 
So you can't really rely on like throwing a plasma and then launching another plasma off of it. Unfortunately, I wish it were consistent. You know, I don't like randomness, but uh, it's pretty random as to what the effect is. Alrighty, so we've gone through mostly everything. We've got a few more tests to run. Um, okay, so this is actually really important. When you are throwing a grenade and you're standing still, the grenade only goes a certain distance. But as soon as you move forward when throwing it, it moves a lot further, as you can just tell. And then if you're sprinting when you throw it, it goes way farther. So just compare these distances from standing still, moving forward, sprinting while throwing the grenade. So if you want to get a really long range grenade off, no matter what type of grenade it is, they all get thrown at the same distance. Here we'll demonstrate a quick test with that. Just throw up, first frag, then plasma, then pulse. See if you guys can catch them. Woo! So yeah, they land all in the same spot. What are you guys doing over there? <laughs> Tipsy wins. Oh god. Um, so yeah, that's a really important point. And let's finish off with some tips for uh, using grenades in battle, in like a real game. So this isn't going to be super in-depth, just general tips. Um, let's go over Hizzle to this wall. And first, like, so this is weird geometry. Unfortunately, I'm not a very good forger. But uh, if you're running away from somebody and they're like, you're like turning the corner and you know they're about to turn the corner, you throw the grenade off the wall and then they'll land on it. So like, uh, yeah, Robo, do you want to be chasing me? And let's say he knows I'm going to go around this way. I'll come here, throw that grenade, and it'll pretty much hit him if this weren't such a weird uh, angle and you hit the right angle. Just be careful when you're throwing grenades that like different little things might influence where it's thrown. Uh, I find that frags are best for doing this with because frags explode near instantaneously. Whereas if you throw like a plasma, then he can basically see it and just run away. Right, and uh, plasmas, by the way, also have a much smaller radius of effect. So, like, I'm this close to it, and I took no damage whatsoever. It's a very small ring, uh, but it's very high intensity uh, around it. Whereas frags have a huge range, but a, a less intense um, damage output per range. And then pulse grenades clearly just um, uh, have, like, a fixed range. And if you have the explosives perk, it increases the radius for all of them. Uh, except for pulse by 20%. So uh, explosives, you take less grenade damage as we've shown, and you also have more range. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna get into the damage output because it doesn't really change the mechanics or anything. Um, so other than that, one point I wanted to mention is that if you're in a battle, like let's say I'm shooting tipsy, don't like mid battle stop to throw a grenade because it's really easy to dodge whether it's a frag or a plasma. Uh, they see you throwing it, they're like gonna move out of the way. <laughs> and um, especially with frags, which takes time to bounce. Yeah, plasmas actually, or, or pulse grenades, you can use if they're like coming up the stairs and they don't see you and you want to initiate with it. Um, but if they see you throwing a grenade, you're, you're going to give them two to three shots worth of time um, to kill you. So you only want to throw grenades before the fight starts or after the fight if they're like running away and you can't see them anymore, but you get a grenade around the corner. Uh, and then last but not least, let's let's get more grenades back and show that uh, different grenades like bounce differently on staircases. So frags go up, plasmas barely move, and uh, pulses don't do much. So um, I think I'll probably make a video showing you like good starting grenades. Ghostly said that's something he's been looking for on YouTube but hasn't found. And uh, for example, on Haven, like people are coming upstairs, it's really smart to just throw the grenades right where you know they're going to be. Just be careful because in this game, frags, frags go a lot further range-wise than they used to. Um, so that's all the tips that I have for grenades at this point. If there's anything that you think I missed or you want me to test in the future, let me know. And uh, I'll make a more in-depth like tactical tips video for the different maps for my Road to 50 series so that these two can sort of synergize. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me. And there's one last thing that we want to do and say. So I don't know if you guys noticed what I have built, but it has a message for my brother. And that is, we all wanted to say, happy birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> Gerard.
Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Aiden. You remembered his name. <laughs> so, happy birthday, bro. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'm sorry for the terrible forging. It's the best I could do. <laughs> and we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. I love you, Gerard. Don't forget <laughs> me. Gerard, marry me. <laughs> Gerard.